If you have money in your pockets, you trust no one, and you will become the slave of money forever. This love of money is the curse of American, and for the sake of it, men will sell honor and honesty till we don't know whom to trust. And it is only a genius like Agassiz who dares to say, I cannot waste my time in getting rich, said Mrs. Jesse sadly. You chased after money to pay your mortal debts as your moral debts grew. Jesus from The Destroyer of Worlds by Stephen Cyril. If you want a major hint at what is consistently part of destroying our environment, I'll give you one. Factory farming. Shanita Etwaru. The reverence for business people is pretty much always rooted not in the effects of business on society, but in the love of money. The tithe simply is not a sufficiently radical concept to embody the carefree unconcern for possessions that marks life in the kingdom of God. It is quite possible to tithe and at the same time oppress the poor and needy. Sratcher. The tithe is not necessarily evil. It simply cannot provide a sufficient base for Jesus' call to carefree unconcern over provision. Perhaps the tithe can be a beginning way to acknowledge God as the owner of all things, but it is only a beginning and not an ending. Richard J. Foster, Freedom of Simplicity Finding Harmony in a Complex World